Is attending the Key Person of Influence workshop held by Dent Global a good investment of three hours of your time? I want to help answer that question for you based on my own experience of having attended the workshop last week. If it's your first time here, I'm Melanie Weber and my channel is all about helping you design the professional and personal lives that you absolutely love because I'm a true believer that you do not have to compromise success in your professional life for success in your personal life. If that resonates with you, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you can keep plugged into when I come out with new videos just like this one. Also too, while you're down there, make sure you check out my number one recommendation on how to have a full-time income online. Now before I actually jump into the Key Person of Influence workshop that I attended, I'd like to just quickly run through exactly who is Dent Global. Okay, so if you were to jump on their website, this is exactly what you would see. So Dent develops entrepreneurs who stand out, scale up and make a positive impact in the world. Awesome stuff. So if we just scroll down here to the bottom, it actually highlights all the awards that Dent have, have been awarded, which are really some quite prestigious ones. Ninth fastest growing company in Australia, the Business Review Weekly's Fast Startup 100 list, finalist in the Management Book of the Year, so some really cool awards that they have won. Now I'll just scroll back up to the top and we will find out exactly who um, Dent are in a little bit more detail. So under their vision here, they, they share where the name Dent came from and it comes from a Steve Jobs quote where he said, we are here to make a dent in the universe. Now just scrolling down here, they have a summary of, of their story. They've been around since 2010, which you can see there. They run world leading business accelerators and events. They've worked with over 3,000 companies through their accelerated programs through the UK, the USA, Singapore and Australia. And down the bottom here, they say they were founded by experienced entrepreneurs and run by successful business leaders. Their mission is to create an entrepreneur revolution based on talented leaders solving more meaningful problems. They're active fundraisers and have helped to raise over £450,000 for various charities. So I'll mention a little bit more about the charity or the giving side of Dent throughout my, throughout my review. Now, if you're looking for further information about their training packages, such as their accelerators, if you click up here on accelerators, then it will bring up details of their accelerator programs, such as their threshold accelerator, the key person of influence, which is the basis of my review today, as well as their other accelerators. So feel free to hop on and have a look and see if any of those would be of benefit to you. So now you know a bit more as to who Dent Global is. Before I dive into the key person of influence workshop, what was covered and particularly my thoughts about the workshop, I just want to put out there that I am not an affiliate of Dent Global, nor have I ever worked for them in any way. So just wanted to put it out there, there is absolutely no monetary benefit of me doing this review. The reason I'm doing the review is to share my experience with you to help you make the decision as to whether it would I believe it would be a good investment of your time. So as I said earlier, the key person of influence workshop that I attended did last for three hours. It was completely free of charge. It was hosted by Mike Clark and it thankfully is in my hometown of Gladstone. Now there was lots and lots of information covered in the three hours as you can appreciate, but really the three main topics for me that we looked at was first of all the entrepreneur journey from startup through to performing and thriving business. What we discussed there was about what the typical time frames are for people to be in those different stages and the typical frustrations and challenges that entrepreneurs ha typically have when they are at those respective stages of the entrepreneur journey. Now the next two topics really formed the vast majority of the workshop and were discussed at great length. So the first of those was around the five best practices of business or, or particularly a sales business and they're referred to as the five P's which are your sales pitch, publish, so where, whether you uh, have written a blog or whether you have written a book or whether you've written a white paper, that sort of thing, what your product is, 
your profile, so how you appear to the external world, whether it be through your LinkedIn profile or your profile on Facebook or YouTube, things like that. And lastly, partnerships. And partnerships are really what enables you to scale your business through things like collaborations with other entrepreneurs or other business people. The last part of the workshop was really your business activities, really divvying them up between your vital activities and what your functional activities look like. So in the vital space, they are the activities that typically are deemed as you working on your business. Your functional activities then are the things that are really working in your business. So the functional activities essentially are activities that you do not need to perform as the business owner, whereas the vital activities are the strategic things that really you need to be in control of. So that's a little bit of a high level summary of what was covered in the workshop. So I now like to share with you what my main takeaways and just general thoughts about it were. I really had three main takeaways ha having attended and they were just the importance of your environment and the impact that your environment has on your performance and I'm particularly talking about your environment of who you surround yourself with. I already knew that this was ex extremely important for you in business that you may have already heard the analogy that you are the average of the five people that you typically hang around with or surround yourself with so if you are surrounding yourself with people who have low drive no no real goals in their life and are certainly not striving to be the best person that they can then they are likely to drag you down and and you're not going to live a life that is truly fulfilling or successful so I, I already knew this but of course it's just always nice to have things reinforced by someone else so make sure that you intentionally put yourself in those environments attending things such as conferences or masterminds that enable you to have exposure to people who are doing exactly what it is that you want to be doing having the success that you want a really big takeaway for me was the percentage of dormant customers as opposed to active customers. And these percentages I found absolutely staggering. So when I say active customers, these are the people who actually know that they have a problem or they know that they have something that they are wanting help with or wanting to be solved. And that's only about 5% of, of your population, which means that 95% of your target market are actually dormant. They do not know that they have a problem. They do not know that there are options out there that can get them out of the nine to five grind or, or whatever it is that their problem is that they are looking for a solution. They don't know that they have a problem yet <laughs> that you could be positioned to solve. So that was a really big one for me. Uh, and we did talk about in the workshop as to how you can actually go about awakening that dormant market. And the third takeaway for me was more from an interest uh, perspective. And that's what was referred to as Society 5.0. And I actually encourage you to hop on to Google or hop on to YouTube and, and look up Society 5.0, which is actually Japan's blueprint for overcoming social challenges. So a, a bit of an interesting viewpoint there. So they were my main takeaways, but just generally my thoughts were the workshop was extremely well facilitated. Mike was extremely knowledgeable and I know that he has had several successful businesses himself so was really well placed to be able to speak from his own experience and and also to the experiences of Dent Global's customers or, or Dent Global's clients. I, I found it absolutely tremendous the opportunity to be able to attend a workshop like this in my hometown because being a population of about 50, 55,000 people, we don't often get great opportunities like this. And lastly, I was really impressed by the amount of fundraising or giving that Dent Global engage in. And it is the expectation of clients who, who have business dealings with them that they are also too of a giving nature. As Dent, of course, highlighted, and I know this won't be new to you, is money is great, but the vast majority of people, they're wanting to make money so that they can make an impact. They can make an impact for not just their families, but they can, in the words of Dent Global, they can make a dent 
in society and enrich the lives of so many people around them. So I was really impressed by just how much Dent Global has been involved in in giving in that regard. And you can hop on to their website again and check out that their giving is actually aligned to the United Nations goals of sustainable development. So they don't just pluck things from the sky at all. It is aligned to, to something tangible. So there you have my review of the Dent Global Key Person of Influence workshop. I certainly hope it has been of value to you in helping you make the decision whether it is a good investment of your time in attending. I got a lot of value from it. Just to let you in on after the workshop, you do have the option to attend a subsequent three hour completely free workshop that just takes a greater dive in into business but there is a few qualifiers for that which which I didn't qualify at the time or you can have a what they call a discovery call with one of their with one of their staff just talking about your business and how they might be best to help so I hope you have gotten something from watching this video I certainly hope it has been of help if there is someone else that you think might benefit from watching this video, then please do share the love and forward it on. If you yourself have gotten something from it, then please do give me a big thumbs up. And until I see you on my next video, I hope you take the greatest of care.